Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Please share my videos. I want to give a shout out to Heidi and Donna and, and James and a whole bunch of you bought me cups of coffee. Thank you so very much. And thank you to those that have joined me over on Patreon. You can watch my videos for free or support my work there. Um, either way, yeah, you can just come on over to Patreon. And thank you very much for the PayPal donations. You guys are all angels in disguise. Hebgen Lake Estates, there in Montana, a tranquil retreat, shaken awake. On August 13th, late last night, a magnitude 3.2 earthquake rocked the Yellowstone region, rattling homes near the infamous Hedgen Lake Fault, with tremors felt, and, yeah, wondering if it's a history going to repeat another disaster? Is this a, is this a sign of coming chaos? Yeah, let's look into what's going on. We have a current view as of making this video of the Back Basin of Yellowstone. USGS reported a magnitude 3.2 earthquake which struck August 13th at 11.23 p.m. Mountain Time. It was 26 kilometers west of Hedgen Lake Estates. You can see this is Hedgen Lake over here. Um, this is where they had that large earthquake, a magnitude 7.2 in 1959. This is the location of last night's magnitude 3.2. I downloaded three different monitors and this is that earthquake. Uh, the one on the far left is Madison River. Um, the one in the middle is Pitchstone Plateau. The one on the far right is the western boundary. This colored representative is uh, what they call the spectrogram. It shows the heat and the toxic gases that came up. And then this is the earthquake. This is the largest of a swarm of earthquakes that they've had in there in the last week. 24 all together. And let me close this out. There's the 3.2. We also got a 0 0.9, a 2.3, um, there's the 3.2, a 0 0.7, another a 0 0.7. And I changed the, um, to the uh, miles in depth. You can see the different miles in depth. We also got a 1.5, which is 6.6 .6 miles in depth. Yeah, quite a few for the last week in just one location. Yellowstone sees about 2,000 earthquakes yearly with magnitude fives or larger events uh, maybe every 10 years, every decades. No injuries, but windows rattled in West Red Yellowstone, it was reported. And USGS warns there is a 5% chance of a magnitude six or greater within the next 50 years. Yeah, it probably would cause landslides and hydrothermal eruptions uh, like last year's biscuit basin explosion yeah is chaos brewing is there more larger earthquakes coming yeah last night's earthquake is not far from the earthquake they had in 1959 the uh, magnitude 7.2 the magnitude 3.2 was close to highway 87 and 287 close to the Red Rock Lakes National Wild Refuge. Weak shaking was also reported at Island Park, which is, yeah, that really surprised me because it's so far away. That's right there. Okay, let me bring, let me try and measure this. About 47.88 kilometers, or let's see, let's go to miles, um, almost 30 miles away. It was also supposedly felt in Gardner, Montana. People in West Yellowstone, which would probably be this location, reported uh, their windows were rattling. This area comprises mostly of east-west trending normal faults. I've talked about this area in the past, how it's a locked block area. Uh, yeah, the fault line is broken 
here we got the red canyon area I was talking about um, the fault is broken that's why it does this little arch here this location here doesn't have any faults actually mapped out so it's probably an unknown fault but you can look at the ground and see where you probably have faults going right through here there's one there and one above it yeah and then we got the Madison River area uh, faults often follow where or I should say the rivers and streams often follow where faults are at Gardner Montana said it was barely noticeable so here we have Helena Montana we got one report from there um, light shaking intensity level three and I don't know if they have anything on here yeah they do they got one report from there Belgrade yeah it'd just be barely noticeable I'm surprised that Helena actually felt it more you know stronger okay and um, Galatin Gateway yeah that was even weaker um, intensity level three but they don't have a name there and then a little southwest Cameron intensity level three interesting I made the uh, monitor for Madison River larger and let me bring it down yeah you can see that we got magma more recently on the move and there's one earthquake right there I don't know if they have it posted I haven't looked yeah they do it's a magnitude 1.5 by Mammoth Wyoming 5.2 miles in depth let's take a look at the spectrogram yeah yeah fairly shallow yeah and we got some more interesting signatures here I'm gonna let's extract that yeah magma movement magma um, magma coming up through the cracks of the ground the ground now there at Yellowstone um, is brittle it's not flexible because of all the pressure that has built up under the ground so we get more popping yeah more magma movement what we have here in the live um, image the video uh, from the live webcam this here is the uh, firehole river and this one geyser has been going off for a little bit hasn't it anyways yeah ah uh, boy I certainly hope Yellowstone doesn't ever decide to go off it would be devastating if it was a large eruption for the entire world um, so what are your thoughts did you happen to be in the Yellowstone area last night and feel this earthquake yeah what do you think about this is one of the largest ones they've had in a while what do you think about that um, please put your comments down below thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and thank you for your support I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.